Breaking news at UCF President Dale Whitaker resigned yesterday, but the university still has to accept that resignation. And News 6's Clay Lapart is at the meeting right now. Clay, lots of people speaking there don't think that he should step down. Lots of people still inside right now, Bridget. That meeting began at 10 o'clock, and they just finished up the public comment not too long ago. The room actually inside at capacity, almost all of the people inside in favor of keeping President Whitaker, some even showing signs of support. Now, President Whitaker offered his resignation Tuesday after months of investigations determined the school had either used or set aside nearly $85 million for misappropriated projects between 2013 and 2018. Whitaker has only been president for a little more than six months and was set to hold his inauguration at the end of this month. This all came to light after an audit last year discovered that $32 million were misused for the construction of Trevor Colburn Hall. Before the vote today, several dozen people spoke to the board, almost all of them in favor of keeping President Whitaker, none more emotional and passionate than Whitaker's daughter and wife. I can only imagine how high Dale and UCF could have soared if only he had been unshackled from the chains of the ghost from the administra administration past. And any minute now, we are expecting to hear from the Board of Trustees making that formal vote on whether or not to accept Dale Whitaker's resignation. We will have more on this throughout the day here on News 6. At UCF, Clay Lapard getting results, News 6.